So SQA higher maths lesson six out of the straight line topic. Today we're looking at a little bit of National 5 revision. Y minus B equals M bracket X minus A. The equation of a line can be found if its gradient and the coordinates of any point that it passes through are known. So like I say, just going over the National 5 work that you should be competent with. So here we've got two points, A, B and X, Y. So X, Y could be any point. So P could move up and down the line here. If we put on our, well, just our Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So M's Y minus B over X minus A. Cross multiply the X minus A. And we end up Y minus B equals MX minus A. So as long as we know A and B and the gradient, we can find the equation of the straight line. So let's go straight into an example. Find the equation of the line which passes through the points negative 2, 0 and 3, 2. So to make things foolproof, I would suggest writing x1, y1, x2, y2 underneath your coordinates. Then it's less likely you're going to make some silly mistakes. So 2 minus 0 over 3 minus negative 2. Remember, minus minus is a plus, so that's two fifths for the gradient. I've got a choice here. I can either pick 3, 2 or negative 2, 0. I'm going to pick 3, 2 just because both values are positive. Even at higher maths, candidates and pupils still make silly mistakes with minus signs. So I'm just going to try and make life as easy as possible for myself and pick 3, 2. So remember, the first number is the A, the second number is the B. So let's just substitute. I've got the gradient of two fifths. I've got A and B, three and two. Substitute in. Y minus two equals two fifths bracket X minus three. And we don't really want to multiply out the bracket here. And the reason why we don't want to do that yet, is I don't want two fifths X minus six fifths. I don't want fractions floating about. I like everything to be a whole number if possible. So I'm going to cross multiply the five. So we'll bring the 5 up. It's 5 times everything on the left-hand side. And the 2 is still there. So 5 times this bracket, 5 bracket y minus 2, is 2 bracket x minus 3. So remember, 5 times everything, 5y minus 10 equals 2 times everything, 2x minus 6. Take the 10 across next to the 6. It will become positive. So 5y equals 2x plus 4. So here we've got positive numbers all the way through. We could divide everything by 5. We could have y equals 2 fifths x plus 4. We could bring everything onto one side of the equation. So we could have 2x minus 5y plus 4 equals 0. They would all be suitable answers. I've just picked this one because all the values are positive. You wouldn't be losing any marks by writing that in a different format, assuming it was a, a correct answer. Example 2, find the equation of the line passing through the point 9, 3, perpendicular to the line y minus 4x equals 1. So again, to use y minus b equals mx minus a, we need the gradient of the line, we need a point on the line. We know the point 9, 3 is on the line, and we also know it's perpendicular to this line. Well, what's the gradient of this? At the moment, we don't know, but if we put it in the format y equals mx plus c, by moving the negative 4x, across, well, adding 4x to both sides, we get y equals 4x plus 1. So here the gradient's 4. And we're asked for the perpendicular gradient. So again, flip the 4, so we'll get a quarter, change a sign, minus 1 quarter. So now we've got the gradient of the perpendicular line. We've got 9, 3, which is a point on that line. Substitute in. Written A and B underneath here, just so I don't get put them in in the wrong order. So y minus 3 equals negative 1 quarter bracket x minus 9. Again, don't multiply out the whole bracket by quarters, so I'm just going to cross multiply the 4 up to here. So 4 of everything on this side is negative 1 times this bracket. 4y minus 12 equals negative x plus 9. Again, I'm just going to go for a format where everything is positive here. So I'm going to add 12 to both sides, so 4y equals negative x plus 21. And 
add x to both sides of the negative x, essentially it just moves over to this side and becomes positive x. So 4y plus x equals 21. And again, as I said in the last example, we could have that in the format of y equals mx plus c, or we could have 4y plus x minus 21 equals 0. You'd still get your full marks. Unless you're specifically told to answer it in the same way, just choose whichever one you think looks the most, most mathematically elegant.